What's good YouTube? Chaos Productions back here with another video. In this one we're going to be taking a look at some new additions to the LEGO military base as well as some others that did not make it sadly. But starting off we're on the shelf because we're taking a look at the MRAP. This was one of the United States first attempts at making an up armored IED resistant um, like mine proof um, vehicle so this is an mrap uh, they were designed during the war on terror this one has working suspension so this one uh, is very realistic and one of my favorites in my opinion i do have the crow's self-automated turret on top here this thing can be remote manned by the inside um, from a remote so you don't actually have to have a guy on top to protect it um, some other soldiers right here Another vehicle that I was showing during that same time frame uh, is the MATV. This is the anti-air version, so you got different um, missile launchers and whatnot on top. And then we also got the MRAP, so the MRAP 6x6 and the MRAP 4x4 were also some other vehicles designed during that time frame. Um, and also, honestly, some of my favorite vehicles in general, just because of how up armored and mine resistant protected they are. Um, and just being in tan, I collect a lot of desert tan stuff, so it is some of my favorite. But I am starting to like also some of the camouflage stuff. So we also got a camouflage MRAP, sorry, MATV. Um, this one, though, has a different turret on the top. It actually has a Javelin and 50 cal anti-air Crows version. So it does differ slightly, but the camel has been growing on me, especially during this Ukrainian war that's been going on. Slava Ukraine. I got some of my Ukrainian troops uh, in front of there um, because they've actually been utilizing a lot of the equipment the U.S. has been giving them. And notably, some of it has been very, very, like, um, well in performance so we got a few more Ukrainian soldiers over here um, this one is holding a stinger missile launcher but we also have different soldiers like Zelensky right there um, and then we got a different cargo carrier some more Ukraines in here as well as one of their um, top vehicles right now is the M2A3 Bradley. This is an infantry fighting vehicle, can carry the soldiers in the back as well as protect them with the guns on top, which is being very proven, very effective in the Russian-Ukrainian war. Um, some more additions that I have here are the newest Brick Designers JLTVs. I'll give you a better look. We have um, two more here, but these are the Crowed variants. So they're self, um, you can control them from the inside, as I already said. These ones just have the um, man turret on top. Um, but then also another new thing is the ATVs. I got a few of these um, that are modeled after Brick Mania's version. But I basically just copied them and made them in camo. And they fit perfectly with everything else that I got. But now for the main part of the video, the newest addition to the base is the F-22 Raptors. Now these things are just badass. And I actually had the pleasure of seeing one um, at the EAA Venture in Oshkosh. But you can see the angling is just spot on for this Lego model. We got the perfect uh, insignias and markings that we would have on here. And then just all the different, you can see the engine intakes as well as it does have the opening hatches where the missile bay is and there's four missiles in each of these currently um i have the landing gear down on this one just for demonstration purposes um this one up but you can see that it does retract how it should and the they're currently on top of these um guard posts that i made so there's literally nothing holding them on they're literally just sitting there but they seem to balance perfectly and I'm not worried about them falling unless someone bumps into them, uh, which hopefully never happens. But they do look really cool just flying in formation like this. And so I set this tower back a little bit to get it um, a different, slightly different angle. Um, but yeah, these guys are just incredible. I love these. So um, the main thing that they are escorting is the B-2 Stealth Bomber. 
So this is also another new addition to the base. Um, and just look at this, how massive this wingspan is. I'm literally reaching up to the ceiling right now and I can't even get it fully in frame. Um, but yeah, this thing actually has a slightly larger wingspan than the C-17 Glowmaster 3 that I made previously. Um, video on my YouTube and also um, lots of in exclusive content of the interior and videos um, on my Instagram. So if you want to see exclusive content, go check that out. Chaos underscore productions dot YT. See all sorts of things that you don't see on the YouTube including the C-17 Globemaster. This thing is 20,000 plus pieces, you guys. 20,000 plus. That is three times and more than the V-2 Self Bomber. And this thing is already huge. It has a larger wingspan by a little bit. Um, but let's go take a look at it. So you can see the engine exhaust, or sorry, the engine intakes. They all taper down along with uh, the back. This plane is very fluid, and just looking at it, it doesn't even look like Lego. So it was actually designed to mimic a flying falcon or like an owl, um, just being very uh, aerodynamic. So right now, I have the front landing gear open. The back are retracted into the plane currently, um, but I have it on this very rigid Technic stand. Um, that needed some support because it is on top of my hanger, which I wanted it to have as it's being escorted. But you can see the engine uh, exhausts all blacked out just like the real one is. Has working flaps and also I really like how this tapers down by half a stud. It makes it very, very fluid um, and actually um, one of my favorite parts of the plane. So just look how long this extends out. It actually would hit that tower right there. I didn't even realize. Um, but yeah, then just looking at here, I do have the Bombay doors open. And inside here are the Moab or mother of all bombs. These are the biggest non-nuclear bomb that a B-2 can carry, I believe. Um, but these are deadly, okay? These will wipe out cities. And so right now I have them open and loaded up and being escorted by the f-22 raptors off to the destination of where we do not know because it is a secret mission taking place or maybe it's just a practice run who knows but you can see the f-22s look very cool from behind it's kind of giving me the idea to add some flames in the back of those exhausts i feel like that would actually look really cool um but yeah you can see the landing gear down one um looks a little bit different but they do look both very very cool and i'm just hoping they don't fall because the b2 <laughs> is just massive man but yeah that's the main new addition to the base you guys um and that's something i'm really proud of it took me about a weekend of four days to knock this b2 out um but it has a very rigid internal structure very playable and then i wanted to get the f22s up in front just to make it also look stand out you know i was actually modeling it after a picture that i saw of two f-22s escorting a b2 which i thought was very cool um but yes i have already heard it a hundred times the base is completely full um that's why i've been phasing things out and moving them onto the shelf if i no longer need them on the base so a lot of these things were initially on the base that i've had like months ago so you'll look in past videos i had things of these on the base and now as new things come in, I move them on the base and move old things out. So it's constantly changing. But another thing that I did say was added were the JLTVs. These are the TAN variants. Um, it's hard to get up close because of C-17, but we do have the turret version as well as the crows and the closed turret. Very cool JLTVs, um, but not cooler than the Brickmania version. I actually do have to give this one to Brickmania just because I like the printing better on theirs. Um, and also, theirs has working suspension and steering and a winch. So as as um, as a Brick Designers fan, I do have to give this one to Brick Mania just because they did it much better. Um, but I do like both. They're both good in their own ways. Uh, and then right here, we have the Osprey V22. Um, we got the CV22 back there and another V22 right there. But this one is unique and special because it has the VMM Red Dragons insignia on there with the Red Dragon and the American flag 
this thing looks awesome. And I actually have this one hooked up to a motor, which you can actually see motorized on my Instagram uh, reels. So go check that out if you want to see things like that. So I have a video of literally both of these being motored up at once, and it looks awesome. So I want to thank you guys all for watching. If you want to see an in-depth review of anything in particular, I know I'm getting a lot of requests on the C17. It is kind of hard. Well, not hard. It's just time consuming to take off the top. I built it in sections. So like this section can come apart along with the entire wing box section, as well as this whole front top. And then they also come into sections like this as well. Um, and so it is just, it is time consuming. But I do have in-depth um, pictures of the interior as well as work in progress pics on my Instagram. So if you want to see that, go check it out. I highly recommend it. It is very cool. Um, but yeah, the, the size difference is just incomparable. We got the C17 here with 20,000 plus pieces next to the AC130 with like 5,000. This thing looks like a baby plane now compared to it. I'm not going to lie. This used to be my biggest plane. And now I have two that top it off. And that doesn't even include some more big planes that may be coming shortly. So stay tuned because I will have another big plane. Um, just won't be for a little while. But yep, I've been getting into a lot more planes recently. Previously, it was all helicopters. As you can see, we got different helicopters. I still really love them. Like we got the Seahawk, we got the Chinook, Cobra, the Venom and different UH-60 and Pavehawk helicopters, as well as the Osprey being my favorite helicopter. But I've been switching more to like planes just because I haven't had, I didn't have as many. I got a ton of helicopters when I first started this thing. And that's what my base mainly consisted of was helicopters and helicopters and helicopters. But I've kind of phased out the helicopters and been getting a lot more planes. And I'm really liking what it's coming to. It's actually going full circle. And so I just, I want to thank you guys all for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Um, just make sure to leave a like if you want to comment a recommendation of a video I should do or um, anything like that. And then make sure to subscribe and check out my Instagram. Peace out, y'all.